Thank you guys for coming today, my two favorite men in the whole wide world. I feel so grateful that I've had my family to help me with the face those curls because from the drawing on the bottles to the models to the photographer to my tío Juan, you know, letting us use his garage as our first headquarters. I feel so blessed that I've had my amazing, beautiful family that has helped me since day one. And I wouldn't be here without all their love and support. And I learned so much of that from seeing in La Maria, ¿te acuerdas? Mi tío Juan, how much did he help you at La Maria sí, too? Empecé, me todos. When you first launched the restaurant, they were they todo, were helping you, huh? Because I remember working at La, at La Maria when I was in, uh, in high school and seeing, you know, my tíos, uh, on their day off, come and help you. Sí, sí, venían a ayudarme y, y es el apoyo de la familia que ayuda mucho. I'm so grateful to have you guys, and I'm so grateful to have my family, and I think that it definitely helped Rizos Curls grow. Pero qué bueno que mi tío Juan me dejó usar su garaje. Qué acto de caridad, tu best friend. Y no después, um, la office que construiste. Oh, mi papi oh, me ayudó a construir. <laughs> you know, rip the whole thing apart. Do you remember how they went before? See. Si. Man, my dad is the sweetest. He um, helped me build every single shelf to put the product, the inventory on. Was that always your dream, papi, to open up your own restaurant one day? Un día en la mañana, temprano, leyendo la, el periódico, vi un anuncio de un restaurante que se vendía en, con la propiedad de North Hollywood. Y este, dije, bueno, esto sí lo puedo, si vendo los apartamentos en Los Ángeles, puedo comprar. Oh, ya, yeah. así es como dice el dinero para el restaurante. Puedo comprar el restaurante. How old were you when you bought them? Tenía 19 años. You were 19 years old when you bought your first, first property? property? Sí. How did you have the money? Sorrando. Wow, so you've been a, a savvy investor, Yo, investor ya, and... Uh... Ganaba y sabía ahorrar, sabía ahorrar y... Porque mi papá me dijo una vez, dijo, no es tanto lo que ganes, sino lo que sepas ahorrar para... Yeah. Tú siempre nos enseñaste eso. Sí, sí. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself means saving first. Yeah. Before Primero. you spend your money, pay yourself. Sí. Yep. Claro, eso es muy importante. Step by step. Yeah. También con Rizos Curls, no sabíamos ni cómo empezar. Ya, yeah, I think... Que la vena es como 10 veces. <laughs> I think that's something I definitely learned from you is you would always teach me like people can be smarter, people can be anything, but they they can't outwork you. I think for me, one of the things I'm most grateful for is having that foundation because you and my mom have been good my biggest, my, not just a good family unit, you guys have a great marriage and great example and have also you know, what we lacked in resources and money when we were growing up, you guys always gave an abundance of love to us. And on top of that, um, you guys um, both always were my biggest cheerleaders. So when it came down to my business, I just remember always wanting to start a hair care line and I was making my own concoctions. I was making my own versions of a formula. And then I remember going to Tony and saying, Tony, like it would be so amazing if I could make this professionally, if I could make these formulas real. What do you think? And then do you remember you I going? I remember I was in my room on my laptop and you came in and you were like, <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? And then you, you look very serious and you're like, no, this is serious. And you told me what your dream was. I'm I was sorry. like, let me get back to you. And you're like, but I need an answer. I was like, let me get back to you. So I like researched for like an hour to two hours. And then I went over back to your room <laughs> and I was like, we're doing this right now. Y entre los dos hicieron un buen equipo que Tony sabe más de números y cómo manejar un negocio. Yeah, and I think that for uh -huh. me, for me having Tony as my co-founder and as my right hand, what your strengths are like, almost like what, what, what I'm not, as good at like it's your strength and what you're not as good at is my strength and i think that we provide that perfect balance i consider ourselves definitely leaders in terms of what's going on in terms of clean yeah. beauty and clean hair care yeah because even in the time that we launched that wasn't that, that clean didn't hair exist. care didn't exist it, it not only didn't exist but it did our what our products do for didn't exist hair care. for textured hair care it's like very difficult even the category that everything that i did and so of course like i was going to these labs and as soon as they would tell me this doesn't exist it's not possible i'm like i already know you're not the right chemist we were competing against huge beauty conglomerates yeah. and we were the first latina owned brand yeah. 
ever on on that, there exactly, that they yeah. had worked with and they were very treating us like we were just we were nice, they, they were doing us. us a huge favor yeah. and i think that we taught them what They're latina like owned away. businesses could do we taught them the power of latinas yeah. and i think that we so many times we've walked into meetings where they have a perception and they're telling us like a preconceived notion. a preconceived yeah. notion of what latinos and latinas are like telling us things like latinas don't care about clean hair care latinas don't care about natural your products are too expensive like you should make a cheaper version with chemicals why do you why do you have all these um organic and natural ingredients latinas don't care about that they care about coupons and what what do we say we walked out we walked out of meetings because they clearly don't not only do they not understand us but they don't deserve us since you handle most of their finances and like a lot of our accounting um you know being able to have that prep time with you where yeah we, we can access you know our analytics and spreadsheets and like um all these different numbers at our fingertips and yeah. me being able to like ask you whatever questions i have i mean in today's visually world see it yeah in today's world you have to be able to have that access in your fingertips and so being able to just like use the quickbooks app we know exactly what to do when we step into a room nobody knows our business nobody knows our customers More than us. nobody knows the growth of this industry in this segment better than us yeah and that's the way it always has to be yeah yeah. And I think having access to QuickBooks, for example, is one way in which we are able to be prepared and at any moment. At any moment. So Tony's been balancing checkbooks with a calculator, paper and pencil since he was in third grade and now he does it for resource too. How to do it. I mean now thankfully, you know, there's QuickBooks and stuff and you know, so many things are automated. I don't have to be sit there doing it by hand, there's internet and it automatically <laughs> populates things from the bank and it like auto detects categories for you so that you don't you can it you know assigns categories to all of your expenses so you can budget and you know forecast pay your accountant and forecast and you know file your taxes I and mean, so many different things well thank you guys so much for reminiscing with me i love you both very much my two favorite guys here and i'm i'm very lucky to have two great examples of men that support me love me and have my back because um, nobody can treat me better than how you guys have treated me my whole life, and I love you both for it. Gracias, mija, a ti. Muy orgulloso de ti, mija, con lo que has logrado. Thank you, Y daddy. estamos aquí para apoyarte. I love you guys. I love you guys. Mija. I love you guys.